Now to the deadly school shooting in Parkland and a new group of students who say their voices have not been heard. Tonight they say they're done standing in the shadows. CBS 4's Amber Diaz has their story. They say they've been fighting, protesting, and marching for way too long. These kids, students at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School, are joining the masses and standing up against gun violence. The goal is to let everybody know that we're here and have something to say. At North Community Park Wednesday afternoon, they talked about a lot of things, from more mental health evaluations to banning assault weapons. They even touched on gun violence in black communities. They say they are no different than the kids who talked from the podium on Saturday during March for Our Lives. Give the children a voice to let legislators know children's safety is more important than guns. The only difference, they say, which shouldn't make a difference, is the color of their skin. And I can tell you that I've never felt more proud to be an Eagle than during the March for our lives on March 24th. But I wondered where this support was for Eric Garner, after Alton Sterling, after Sandra Bland, after Stephon Clark, after the gun violence that plagues communities of color every day. Student Kai Korber was passionately enraged as he talked about being racially profiled at his beloved high school just last week. My once safe, beautiful school now resembles a prison. We have police towers in front, military grade entry and exit points, and now we have invited those who are infected with the disease of prejudice to protect us. At the end of their press conference, Dr. Rosalyn Osgood, who stood by the students at the event, said no matter what color you are, gender you identify with, or your religious background, the goal should always be to make things better for these kids. Our children are our future, and we live every day for what? To make the world a better place for our children. That was Amber Diaz reporting. Meantime, as confessed shooter Nicholas Cruz